Hi, so I'm Markov Kohlweis. I'm, uh, I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Edinburgh, which uh, does a lot of collaboration with IHK in the, in the Blockchain Technology Lab. And um, so I, my, my background is on doing privacy enhancing protocols. And um, an important building block of privacy enhancing protocols is CO knowledge. And I think in the cryptocurrency work, people know CO knowledge under one instantiation of it, which is called the CO knowledge SNARKs, um, which is very important as a, as a tool for um, building privacy on the blockchain. I think the most well-known currency is probably Zcash, but there are many other efforts on uh, making cryptographic currencies more, more private. And that's what, what I'm doing uh, here at the university. So CO knowledge proofs and CK SNARKs may seem to the lay person like, like a magical um, object. So in, in a one, one line, what it allows you to do is to prove the truth of a statement without revealing anything, or, or more specifically, without revealing anything but the truth of the statement. And so what you could prove in a, in a cryptocurrency is you could prove that someone spent, some, who owns a piece of money, who owns some, some, uh, some amount of money, spent that money with someone else and keep both of those kind of the connection between where the money came from and where it is going kind of unlinkable. So that's what it is used for in, in Zcash. So Ouroboros is a, has a different way of um, doing consensus on, on the blockchain. So it's not based on proof of work, but proof of stake. So one thing we're doing is trying to figure out how CO knowledge can work with uh, proof of stake um, blockchains. So our general approach is to build things from the ground up, bottom up. So where we kind of lay the foundations first, we kind of think about what are the assumptions, what are the definitions, and then we build kind of cryptographic protocols and only then, then we go towards uh, implementation and, uh, and applications to build a product. So we are at the very beginning of this. So we're trying to understand what is it actually that we want to achieve. So we, there's, there's Zcash and it has some security definitions, but it is not kind of the, of the composable nature that we would want it to be so that we can put it together with the other um, sound foundations that we already have in the, in the blockchain technology lab. So at the moment we are um, taking the definitions of Ouroboros and extending them with, uh, with privacy. And then we have uh, kind of some example protocols that we think will achieve that but we are we, we still um, at, the, at the very beginning. What I find very exciting about kind of cryptocurrencies is that they they kind of now everyone talks about stuff that I've been doing for for, for, for at least ten years, and I, I thought that I, I knew that it was important then, but now kind of we found like the, the nice mixture of things that that make it work in the real world. So that's I think that's also what cryptographers what surprised cryptographers about about Bitcoin, because it uses kind of things that they already knew. It's just, it was some magic mixture that made it kind of contagion than, uh, than it spread over the whole world. So that, I find that extremely exciting. So in Microsoft itself, um, I worked on something quite different, but I mean, in my opinion, it's very closely related. So I worked on the formal verification of um, TLS, Transport Layer um, Security which is the core protocol of the internet. So it's uh, the security protocol of the internet. So it's what security on the internet is built on. So when you do online banking, you rely on TLS to make sure that no one steals your money. So it is, it's very foundational and very important to get that protocol right. And it's going through a new iteration where it receives much more academic input, where there's a rigorous design process and, uh, and actually some formal verification. So it's a, it's a new way of doing things. And I find this new way of doing things is, is very closely related to the way we want to do things in the blockchain lab, um, building on, on sound foundations and security definitions and kind of building it um, from, from the bottom up rather than just um, mixing something up and hoping it doesn't break apart. And uh, if it breaks apart, let's just patch it up in some way. So that's, that was the old way and we want to move towards the new way. And there's, despite TLS and kind of cryptocurrencies being very different beasts, there's, there's a close connection in them being kind of um, important infrastructure, one of the present and the other one of, of the future.